Hello, Justin Cox here, founder of CruiseDepot.com, and well, I'm delighted to introduce you to Tim Wood, who's the CEO of Wheels for the World uh, Project, um, our charity partner. Um, it was always our intention from the very beginning to find a, an international mobility charity. Um, because having worked as a career, it's all about running and being able to run to deliver. And what better than to help a charity restore mobility? So our Wheels for the World project takes old, disused wheelchairs. Uh, we refurbish them here at the warehouse and then we ship them overseas in a shipping container to our partners. Uh, we then send a team of medical professionals who volunteer their time and expertise uh, to then assess and fit disabled people with a wheelchair or mobility aid uh, that's right for them, that's tailor-made for, for them. And, uh, that brings uh, life-changing transformation. There are around 65 million disabled people across the, the low-income countries which need a wheelchair but don't have any access to them. Uh, so our project uh, makes a difference by providing those wheelchairs, uh, providing freedom, mobility uh, for disabled people. Uh, quite often, disabled people live in circumstances where they are hidden away, out of sight, sometimes even locked up out in the backyard. Um, they're just not uh, seen often in community settings. Um, I was so surprised that uh, when I went to Uganda that they thought that disabled people was an African Problem. They didn't think that we had disabled people in the West, which was just uh, heartbreaking to, to know that uh, mentality that still exists today in, in Africa. So we're making a difference to, to those disabled people. We've got hundreds of, hundreds of examples of changed lives, but let me tell you about Perry. Perry is five, he lives in Nigeria, uh, has brittle bone condition where his uh, bones are susceptible to breaking uh, very easily. Uh, he came along with his mum to a distribution, uh, she carried him there and uh, the team uh, assessed him for a, a wheelchair, uh, fitted him with the right chair and he uh, was, his face lit up when he uh, got this chair and his mum was full of joy because uh, she didn't have to carry him anymore uh, on her back and uh, they left um, with him jigging away to the, to the music playing in the background, uh, full of joy. So we can fit about 300 wheelchairs wow. in this space. Uh, That's amazing. So they come in from different NHS trusts and uh, they come in different sort of shapes, sizes. Uh, we hold them here and then they, uh, our volunteers, we get about six to eight volunteers each week coming to then um, help to refurbish the, the, the wheelchair right. and uh, that gives it, you know, they're more, make them more robust for the terrain in Gosh, Africa. Gosh, yes, of course. And, uh, and then, yeah, and then we store them over here for shipping out to, to different countries and uh, put the... So these, the these are good to go. These are good to go. So Tim, it's been fascinating learning about what actually goes on here at the warehouse and the, the, the troubles you have, the challenges you have, financial challenges, but you did touch on the logistic element. That can be a very expensive part of the operation. Um, so what I'm really saying here now is there's anyone out there in logistics who would be happy to reach out to us, who'd be able to assist this incredible charity, reduce their costs in any way, shape or form. We would be more than delighted to hear from you. If that be you, do please contact me, j at cruisedepot.com or info at cruisedepot.com and we'll take the conversation further. Really appeal to you and whatever, whatever you can do, we'd be so very grateful. And I speak very heartily for Tim here as well.